Hi everyone, my name is Rajesh and in this video we are going to have a look at some more features of Microsoft Excel that are kind of must for ERP consultants. Now in this series of video around the Microsoft Excel skills for ERP consultant, so far in our last video we have seen these features. One, find and replace and second, sort and filter. If you have not watched that video, I'm giving the link of that video over here. So you can first go and watch that and then come back to this video. Now let's see the paste special. Now again, I have got a test case over here for the paste special. So what I want to do, let's assume is this whole data. I want to copy paste over here or let's assume that this whole data from my sort and filter. I want to copy paste over here, right? But I want to copy paste it only as values. Now here you can see that in column number E, I have got my sum total formula. So while copy pasting, I do not want to paste that formula. I just want to paste this entire data just as values. So what I can do is I can hit the control C over here, which is for copy. You guys most probably know that. And then in paste special, I can hit the right click and then I can go on to this paste special. And here I have got certain options by which I can paste the values in a special manner. So if by default I select all, then it will copy as it is. Like for example, if I simply say, okay, then this particular row or this particular column has got pasted as a formula only, right? So I did not want to do that. So let me hit control Z, which is undo. And then while pasting, Again, I'll come to paste special and I'll say that I just want to paste the values. I do not want to paste any formulas in the original copied data. So I can select this values and then hit OK. So now what has happened is if you go to these cells, then you will see that these cells also have got pasted as values and not formula. So that is one thing in the paste special, which is how to paste special as value. The second thing. Now let's assume that this data what I have pasted over here, I want it transposed. Now what do I mean by transpose? It is like in my columns or rather in my rows right now I have my trainee names and in my column I have my question names. Suppose I want it vice versa like in my rows I want the questions, in my columns I want the trainee names. So what I can do is I can simply copy this data and then over here I can again paste special and I have got this transport checkbox which I can tick and then I can hit OK. So see what has happened. So all my questions got pasted as rows and all my trainee names got pasted as columns. So this is what you can do uh, as transpose. Third thing is like if you just want to copy the formula, for example, suppose that I have got also the data of let's say trainee number 15 okay, or trainee number 16. So I've got a data of trainee number 16 and what I want to do is I just want to copy this but as a formula. So what I can do is I can copy this and I can paste over here and say that I want to paste the formula. I do not want to paste the value, I want to paste the formula. So over here my formula has got pasted but you can observe that the formatting of the cell like that border then the middle uh, or the center alignment any of those things have not got pasted over here only formula has got pasted. So in paste special, we have seen three things. One is how to paste values. Second, how to paste in transposed manner. And third, how to paste formula. So that's about paste special. Now the fourth thing is about data validation. So over here, let me come back to this particular sheet of data validation. Let's assume that what I want to do is I want to create one more column based on the let's say uh, the scores that these trainees have scored. So I simply have this column, let's say called grade. Okay. And I want somebody to put in this grade manually over here. Okay. But I do not want that person to select any value like A, B, C, or maybe like somebody would select small case C or somebody would select, let's say D plus. I do not want that. What I want is there is a list of specific grades, let's say A, B and C. So I want that person only to select A, B or C, any of these three values, nothing else. So what I can do is I can select first of all this entire range where I want to apply this validation. Alternatively, I can select this entire column also. That's also not a problem. And then I can go to data 
and in data i can go to data validation over here and in the data validation here you have got one criteria called allow any value instead of that what i'll say is i will allow only those values that are there in my predefined list now again the source of the list you can select in any way like suppose that i just have three values like a b and c then i don't need to select the source from any different location what i can simply do is enter a comma b comma c now comma is used here to separate the value and then i can hit okay now here you can see that if i try to enter d then it will give me the error that this value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for this particular cell that means that i can only select any of these values a b or c right or you can directly enter that value also if that value is matching in those list of values that are given then i can very well select uh, or enter that value directly or copy paste that value directly however there is one small uh, glitch or i would say one small bug over here or one small let's say loophole around this particular feature for example if i have d copied or mentioned in some other cell and if i simply copy that and paste it over here it will still allow me to paste it okay so that's a small loophole which you need to take care about otherwise this data validation works in this way where it will restrict the user to enter only the required values and it will sort of help you to maintain the integrity of the data so that's how the data validation tool is used the another way to define the data validation is select a different source for the values that i want to allow in these particular ranges so again i'll go to data validation now it will give me a warning that there is some data validation already applied i say that okay i want to override it and here rather than specifying the values over here i can give some source now for example there is a source or there is a different sheet let's assume that i create a different sheet and in this sheet i say that okay grade a then grade b and then grade c are my values and i just want to allow and let's assume that i have 100 values over here so obviously while defining the data validation for these cells i do not want to enter all those 100 values separated by commas right and that's where this source can be effectively used so i can simply delete this i can say that i want to select it from source and then i can go to whatever source sheet or source data that i have maintained i can select that entire source it can be let's say uh, any range or any columns that you can select so over here i just have three values so i'll just select this particular range and then i can say okay and now it will apply the validation in very same manner how it applied previously so here if you see the values that are available it just shows grade a grade b and grade c now the beauty over here is if you suppose enter something else like grade instead of grade b you enter grade d so you change the source data then this would automatically change your validation so it will show you grade a grade d and grade c now that's how the data validation feature is used now the fifth feature I want to show is the remove duplicate and conditional formatting in order to identify the duplicate values. So again, I'll go to this particular sheet. So let's say that I have this example for my remove duplicate and I have got this column called batch. And in this column, I want to see and I want to remove all the duplicate values that I have. Okay. So I want to see like, suppose that I have a huge data over here and I don't know how many batches are mentioned in this particular data. So I just want to see like how many unique batch values are there. So what I can do is I can simply copy this and paste it somewhere else. And I can simply hit this remove duplicate button that is again under the data tab. And this will sort of, first of all, it will ask me that whether you want to select the extended range or whether you just want to select the selected cell. So I would go ahead with the selected cell and then click OK. So here it will remove all the duplicate values and it will just keep the unique values that are there in this entire data correct so this is something that's useful to figure out like what kind of unique values are available in a particular range or in a particular data now one more peculiar thing that needs to be remembered about remove duplicate is how to remove the duplicate from all the columns that are there in the selected range for example, suppose that I have this particular row over here. Let's say that this row number 13 is the duplicated row. Now, 
here if i do that same thing like i select this entire range of columns and if i hit the same remove duplicate button what it will do is now it is going to check the duplicates in all the cells of my selected range so click ok and then it will say that there is one duplicate value found and removed and 14 unique value remain so if you see that in my column number b there are still a lot of duplicate values but it did not remove those values why because i had not just selected column b but i had selected the entire range and that's where it removed the duplicates from that entire range where the values in all the columns were duplicate from some other row that's how the remove duplicate works now the alternate to the remove duplicate for example here i have got uh, a certain duplicate values in my data but i do not want to remove those duplicates directly what i want to do is i want to identify the duplicates now this remove duplicate feature does not allow to just identify the duplicate it will simply remove the duplicates so how do i identify the duplicate and then decide whether to remove them or not because some of the duplicates might be legit duplicates also so now for that you can use this conditional formatting which you can see in the home screen so for example if you want to see what are the duplicate values in this particular column then you can simply select this column and hit the conditional formatting highlight sale rules and say that i want to highlight the duplicate values and then it will give you the option that how exactly you want to highlight with red color or yellow color or green color whatever so you select it accordingly and then hit ok it will show you the duplicate values in the selected range so this is what will help you and then what you can do basically is you can apply the filter let's say you can go to data you can apply the filter and in the filter you can simply highlight or filter by color and just figure out what are the duplicate values that you have in your data that is how there are two methods to work out or to let's say treat the duplicate values that you might have in your data one is remove duplicate feature another one is conditional formatting to identify the duplicate values and then to decide uh, separately what you want to do with those duplicate values so in today's video we have covered these three features one paste special second data validation and third remove duplicate and conditional formatting so if we go back to index so far we have covered these five features in this series of microsoft excel basic features for the erp consultants the remaining features we will see in the next video thank you everyone for watching this video with the advent of cloud the erp solutions are becoming more and more affordable and that's where even the small and mid-scale organizations are increasingly opting for erp softwares what it means for us is ERP consulting as a career option is now more lucrative than ever. So if you are a fresher finance, commerce and management graduate and want to build your career in the ERP consulting industry, then go visit www.yourerpcoach.com and hit that inquire button right now.